Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little about how to make a complete pike, pike leader. Um, uh, this is not very difficult and we only need about three things. We need uh, some, uh, some fluorocarbon in around 0 0.50, uh, something that has the breaking point of uh, around 70 kilo or something, uh, 17 kilo or something like that. Um, uh, this, uh, this is not very important exactly how thick this is, as long as it's, it's so thick that you can, <laughs> well, it can withstand uh, almost anything. What we need is about 1.5 five meter of this or five feet um, not not uh, any longer than that so I'm gonna pull that off here that is around there the fluorocarbon I'm using here is uh, is, uh, is of the brand uh, photonic which is uh, which is a nice brand and then first of all what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna make a, a perfection loop uh, that's fairly simple knot so I'm making one loop then another loop in front of it, pulling these together. If you don't know how to tie this exact uh, knot, you can uh, you can you can look at uh, at other internet sites to to find this. Uh, the 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 way you know that this knot is is tied correctly is if uh, if this this stump here is, is sticking out at, at a forty five degree angle. So cutting that off and so just leave a bit spare behind. Taking my scissor here, make sure that everything is nice and tight. And in the other end, I'm going to do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to make a, f a larger, uh, a larger, uh, a larger loop. I'm going to take a bit more material here. So as you can see, now I have a larger loop in uh, in this end. Cutting off the material. This this it's nice that this loop is larger because then you can you can easily get your know, fly through and stuff like that if you need to. Well, normally you won't need to. So now I have the uh, the uh, the fluorocarbon part of this uh, of this material. Then I'm gonna take uh, my tit titanium uh, wire. This is the not too kinky, my absolute all-time favorite because this is uh, relatively stiff, as you can see. It it sticks out completely, uh, and it's uh, it's very durable, very very tough, and it don't makes uh, kind of like these pigtail stuff. Um, it will continue to be um, as you see it here, and I can actually show you. Here is some of my pike flies. And I have one here that has been through quite the ordeal. Mm. I can't find it now. Well, I made a mess for nothing. But what I wanted you to, to show you was that uh, I, ha I have a leader that has been through approximately, I would say, well, maybe as much as as 25, 30 pikes, um, and uh, and you can absolutely not see anything on the leader on the leader at all, uh, because this will just continue to look as great as it did before. I'm just cutting this off. This is uh, a very old, very uh, one scissor, so uh, otherwise you should not uh, use your your regular flat tying scissor for cutting through this titanium. I can uh, <laughs> I, I, that is not something I would recommend unless you want to buy new scissors all the time. So what I'm doing now is is I'm doing exactly the same. I'm making a, uh, I'm making a perfection loop here on one end. And uh, this material is nice because uh, it is so durable and, and yet so flexible that you can actually make perfection loops directly on this. So I'm pulling this tight, but I'm not pulling it, you know, like in 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 in, in jerks, because uh, then uh, the, the 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 only problem this fiber has is is if you jerk the 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 nut here, you 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 can actually break, you can actually snap uh, this leader. Uh, so as you can see, I've not pulled the nut completely tight, but but well, there's no need. Cutting off here. So there's a small stump sticking out, and even though this is not co pulled completely tight, this won't go anywhere. I, I have used this for a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, for a long time. I caught a lot of fish on this, and this stuff just works. The last part we need to do here is we need to take uh, um, a lock, 
and I have some Savage Gear locks here. Uh, it's important that your lock is, is, is fairly durable and have uh, uh, can withstand a lot of tension because, well, let's face it, when you're gonna catch that very very ni nice big pike, then you need something that can uh, that can hold it. And uh, to to uh, to get this lock uh, where you want it, uh, you need to make when you make the last perfection loop, you need to attach. After you've made the first loop, then you need need to attach the uh, the lock here. I'm gonna turn this over, and then you stick your lock in between here. Pull nice and tight, like so. I'm gonna cut this last one off here. Like that, and as you can see, now you have a leader that's first of all very thin, but also is very, uh, uh, very straight, and uh, and uh, well, this will work very, very great. So I'm taking my uh, my fluorocarbon here. You can use monofilament as easily as uh, as, as fluorocarbon. That doesn't really really matter that much. I'm gonna make these two ends come together uh, with the loop to loop solution. And there you have it, the complete leader, ready for you to just snap open here. <laughs> this is a strong snap. This is a strong lock. Attach this to your fly. And you're, you're golden, you're solid, you're ready to go. And this leader will last for many, 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 many fish. Uh, and if, if for some reason something should go wrong, you can, you can, you make sure that you make your leader so long as, as uh, long enough to to be able to cut the the, the nut off and uh, and tie another one without having having to discard the entire leader. Well, not too kinky. Some uh, some very strong uh, uh, nylon or, or fluorocarbon, uh, uh, a small snap, and uh, well, you're you're solid. Sorry for the shaking there, I just got a bit excited and slapped the table. Well, uh, those were the words. Thank you for tuning in and uh, of course remember to subscribe.